go. There's the game. <laughs> All right, everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... He is a mighty Lieutenant Drakir at your service, who is a bit warm at the moment. <laughs> and I don't think this one is going to help, since seeing as what well, it's an Efrit, a fire demon. And yeah, welcome back to uh, Minecraft with the Hippity Hoppity SMP. And uh, yeah, I've been busy off stream. I've made all of the occultism ritual sites, or pentacles as they're called. I've also made one of each of the uh, ore crushers that you can get. This is the most basic one. I think we've seen this one before, the foliot. Uh, I'm surprised they're still alive, since these are supposed to decay after a time, and your first one decayed or died after a time. According to the book from Jin on, so all the other three, they are not supposed to decay over time. Though I'm not entirely too sure about that. But yeah, we now have one of each. We can pick them up like this to move them around. So let's put them here as a sort of guard since, well, I have the Merit Crusher upstairs here. And well, they do the best job at the fastest speed. So, yeah, no real need for the others to be around other than for, well, simply for decoration. <laughs> or I could give them to other uh, players. Speaking of, Shasker is online. <laughs> and oh, let's dear. see. <laughs> okay, apparently Ignarumon has a friend <laughs> in one of the Starbuncles. I've recently put them here to help the Wixie with their stuff, which I've also well, expanded what they can make. Yeah, Wixies, they will make whatever you uh, make, yeah, make whatever recipe you specifically give them. But you can also give them more to do or more recipes to do by putting pedestals around them and putting well an example of what to make on them. So yeah, eventually I'll probably try to set up a, a bit of a pipeline here where, maybe not specifically here, but somewhere, where all sorts of ores get sorted out, uh, dropped for the Marids, uh, who then crushes it into dust, then the, uh, the, then the a Starbuncle picks it up, puts it into a furnace, or better, a blast furnace, since that goes faster with metals, and then a Wixie, well, turns it into blocks, and then it gets put into a box. And yeah, let's see. I don't have too much planned for the day, but we could do uh, something I wanted to do. Uh, no, that I've said I yeah, said I wanted to do like two streams back, and is to basically turn the tr turn the tower into part of a tree to have it seem like the archwood trees are growing straight through it or so. I think we can work on that. I don't really th uh, know what much else to do. Uh, if there were others on, uh, on, we could try going on adventuring again. Uh, we're still keeping the <clears throat> we're still keeping the uh, Ender Dragon as a event thing. Uh, but one thing I did also do is that I made the place a bit more non-flight friendly. Okay, for a second there I thought something was coming down the stairs, but it was just a book gear here. But yeah, I built a, a staircase all the way down, as well as, well, just a water elevator for people who don't want to, well, risk falling off this. Which I admit could probably go a bit wider for safety. But yeah, that's why this is here for, well, a faster and safer way down. Um, beyond that, uh, I fought the Wither a few more times over here. I even, well, I even just set up a box full of souls, not full of souls, but a box with soul sand for future fights. Uh, I fancy this up a bit. Not too, uh, not too much work, not too uh, <laughs> impressive, but still I like it. And um, there is one more mineshaft level I need to add to this. That is for silver. Which, uh, yeah, I, I spent quite a time digging for silver only to learn that it's uh, lower. This is not the one. 
Uh, let's see. One of these goes on. Yeah, this is the one. Uh, yeah, I used one of. Them. I used my digging wand to get through here. Actually, no, not the digging wand. I think I just put uh, <laughs> all the AOE I could on a, on a break spell, and I would just use the uh, lucky break spell on anything else. And yeah, I broke into here. I haven't explored around here too much yet. Also, yeah, I made a secondary spell book for more utility stuff, like night vision. Also, the dragon is still here. And yeah, beyond that, uh, I also made a, a healing mirror, like I said I would last time. And I also made this. This is the... No, surprisingly substantial satchel, <laughs> which, well, gives quite a lot of space. 9 by 13, I believe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, so quite a bit of storage. Ooh, I probably, I probably may, I might change that out with uh, this one to keep my most important stuff. And let's see. Oh, something here. But yeah, we can do a bit of decorating, some exploring. Okay, dripstone. That's good for well, getting more lava. I should do one thing quick though. Yep, quite a bit this way as well. Probably should put down a quick marker here. Just so we don't get too lost. Not that, well, there's much of a risk of it since I have the, uh, where is it? Not the warp scrolls, the stable warp scroll somewhere. Which I can just use to get out of the cave anyways. I might make one of those for each of the other players. Oh, hello. My vision. Uh, let's see. Lucky break, there and there. Okay, only three. But yeah, let's go check out over here with this. So that must mean that there is something there. Hmm. Okay, is it just buried in here? It, yes, it is. Stone links. Okay, we'll just have to break in then. Let's see. Oh, there's an entrance. Okay, no. Never mind the breaking in then. What kind of achievement is that? We'll see in a sec once I've cleared this out. Okay, goodbye. I'll take those. Uh, let's see. Find an upgraded monster room. Okay. Uh, hello. I'll take that. And there's a necromancer nearby. Because I heard them summon undead. Let's see. Poison spray. Horse armor. Mana regen. Nothing too much else of too much interest. I have more bones than I know what to do with. Music disc. Nope. Nope. I do see something I do want here, though. The animal? Yep. And that one. Uh, cobwebs, not too valuable. Okay. Um, let me change this one around quickly into an extract. Uh, there we go. Okay. Um, also, yeah. <laughs> For people wondering where the hell all of my backpacks have gone, well, I think you can take a guess here. Yeah. <laughs> I, I managed to make one of these Inception upgrades. For which, uh, let's see, what is the button for that? There is a button to see how something is made. 
uh, with you, but there should also be one for uh, or what something is used for, but also one for seeing up R, how to make it. So yeah, one nether star, four eyes of ender, three diamonds. Okay. Also, something I figured out is that these, if you have a, uh, let's see, where is it? Yeah, if you have a um, a backpack with a magnet inside of another backpack, it'll still work on picking things up. Like for example, uh, let me first pick one of these out. That sounds very nice. Uh, wait, where did I just? There. Okay. Let's put that away quick. Okay. Uh, wait. All right. I, I turned this off because I was trying to get the, the merits to crush stuff for me and kept picking it up instead. Uh, let's see. Just dump everything in here for a second. And yeah. Nothing in the inventory. Uh, there and nothing in here but you could hear that it was still picked up very okay. handy night vision okay let's explore a little bit more and uh, then we'll head back hmm? okay some gold so, yeah, with the merits, I have little uh, worry about running out of materials. Welcome back. Okay. Hmm. We might need to come up with a name for them. Because they're going to be doing quite a bit of work. Uh, wait, wait, name for what again? The merit, the ore crusher. You mean a, a more easier to pronounce name? Yeah. <laughs> Probably a good idea. Let's see. Nothing of too much interest around here. Oop. What's what's the forgotten doing here? Yep, there you are. Okay. Yeah. The Forgotten is something I only learned about on the SMP here. Because apparently they are, or I think they are supposed to be in base game uh, Minecraft now. I'm not entirely too sure on that. But yeah, they're basically skeletons with much stronger armor. And thus much more of a nuisance to deal with. I did not know this. Do I did know the... I had a surprise update already of the, the one with the camels. Okay. Night so vision. I guess that might be part of that? Maybe. Let's see. Some iron. Okay. I think we might have found most of the things that are interesting in this, uh, in the big cave at least. It still connects to other stuff. But I don't think we'll find too much of interest in there. Oop. That I want. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'm clicking too fast. And it doesn't register sometimes. Let's see. Hmm. But yeah, in a bit we can get to work on decorating the tower then some. Hmm. Let me grab this and then we'll just head back because well, I have more iron than I need at the moment. Though, of course, with this game, it's always the case that the moment you stop picking something up, you're liable to run out of it. Is anything of interest in these? Okay. 
back into the cave. No, this is a new one. Oh, hello. Here, let's deal with that quickly. Yeah, the I don't know what the this is from. These little setups. If those, yeah, actually, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're part of looter since, well, the chest underneath it. But, uh, yeah. They'll just, they'll just do that. Oh, but, okay, for a second it said that a, a, the, a boss spawned, but no, that was just a text of my own freaking book. No, not books, swords. Um, hmm. But, like yeah. So uh, you'll just find you'll just find random mob spawners with vines around them, a block on top, and a chest underneath. And there's another mob room, it seems. Okay, let's grab this. Okay, is that just a bear down here? Okay, what's <laughs> the? I know cave bears are a thing, but this is a bit deep on the ground for one. Yeah, that's just a regular bear, not a cave bear. And as far as I remember, they are cave bears in this mod pack. Okay. But that's not it. It would have been way bigger. There. I should probably rename this one to extract. There. Yeah, th this glyph basically applies a silk touch effect. Okay. And I'll okay. take that. That's. I look forward to see when you can make your own combat spells, what you, uh, you name them, what they do, and all that. Yeah, like the books, you can't make those, I think. Uh, I meant when uh. you make your own spells. Okay. Jukebox. I think I have one so of those already. But... A... Yeah, you, you do. You are able to modify spells and all. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll prop. Hmm. A freaking centipede over there. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I can clear some of these out since I already have them on the other book. Um, there. Um, that was a craft one. Let's see. A quick spell to whip up to deal with that thing. Let's first make it projectile, of course. And let's see. I don't have the lightning spell yet. Uh, how about we just summon a bunch of these to fight it? Uh, there are some oh, these skeletons. Will last a short time until they begin to take damage, but time can be expended. To the turn. Summoned weapons are changed using augments. Use Amplify to give a better sword. Pierce to give it a bow. Okay, adding split after the effect will add to the number of summoned skeletons. Okay, so let's put Pierce on that. And I just, I just realized that I don't have the split effect. Okay, well let's. Let's add extend times instead then. There. Okay, now where did that bug head off to? There it is. Okay. Okay, did, did it just run away? I'm not actually seeing it anywhere here at the moment. Okay. But I am seeing yeah. a bunch of axolotls. Ooh. A lot of them. We can catch some. Uh, hopefully that the uh, centipede run into lava or something. Maybe. They're not too much of a threat anymore, but they are still a nuisance. Okay, good thing I always keep a few buckets on hand. Because if I remember correctly... You can pick these up with a bucket of water. There we go. <laughs> the cutest predator. <laughs> Catch an actual in a bucket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are actually predators. Okay. Uh, I see another one on the map here. 
It's I can hear it squeak. Let's see. These will be nice for an aquarium or such. Hmm. Where? Oh, there you are. Classic pink. And they come in quite a variety of colors, I believe. Yeah, I think the pink one is most common. Okay. And yeah, I think the I think the bug ran into here. I'm seeing something called a flutter on the map here. Dripstone creeper. Oh, actually a little behind us. Okay, it's a brown one. Okay, now what are these flutters? That sounded right next to me. It, oh. Okay. Oh, Alex mobs. Uh, let's see. Let's take a quick look to see what the hell these things are. Uh, let's see. Annoyingly enough, these aren't that these aren't sorted alphabetically. Let's see. Mantis shrimp. Uh, Levi Leviathan. We're just just vibing out. Specter. In there. Mm -hmm. Banana slug. Hmm. Bun fungus. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? One up. Go up, up, and the other side. Uh, there, flutter. Small plantoid creatures found in lush cave biomes. They are completely passive and avoid most harm by floating up in the air by flopping their giant flower. Flutters have a curious interest in any flower and can be tamed by giving them four to six flowers. Each of these flowers must be a different, uh, must be different from each other, as otherwise the flutter will be disinterested. Okay, when tamed can be made to stay or follow, wander when defending the owner from any threat, the flutter will float into the sky and start you know, shooting pollen balls down at the attacker. These will home in on the attacker, make several flutters very useful to, for cave, yeah, cave explorers. Although they have low health, flutters can be equipped with a flower pot to give them additional armor. A flutter in the pot can also be picked up by sneaking. Flutters can be healed with flowers. Okay, can be bred with bone meal. When breeding flutters near azalea bushes or leaves, there is a chance for the azalea bushes or leaves to bloom. If slain, flutters will drop a spore blossom. Okay. Alright. Tatum will probably want to know that they spawn around here then. Most likely. Uh, let's see. Anything else of interest in the area? There's a big water area. And what's, what's that there? It's underneath the tower, so it's probably one of my mine shafts. Yeah, it most likely is one of the mine shafts. Okay. That's a monster box. And that sounded like something else getting hit by an arrow instead of me. Okay. Let's at least try out this spell on something. The hacker. Uh, oh, wrong spell. That was place blocks. What the heck is that? Yeah, that that's a, a cave creeper. And, or do you mean that thing over there? Yeah, there's one uh, closer to you uh, by the entrance. Someone at the doorbell. Okay, I was expecting more than one skeleton. Or, oh, it's, it is two skeletons. Thank you. Ambience disc rainy moods. Okay, the spitter. Oh, oh yeah, it is a spitter. <laughs> Yeah, you don't need to give an example. <laughs> also, Gesundheit. Thank you. Oh, that example. Sneer and spit is not the same. <laughs> uh, let's see. Tusklin, Anaconda. I've had an encounter with one of those. Stupid thing tried to squeeze me to death. Skunk. Oh, dear. Let's see, Farseer, which I believe is basically a boss or something. 
Cosmo. Terrapins. If a terrapin is jumped on, it will seed into its shell. If something again, it will spin in the direction of the jumper, ricocheting off walls. What? If it collides with another mob, the speedy turtle will deal a decent amount of damage. However, this mob could become aggressive towards whoever launched a turtle at them. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay, I do get summoning sickness from, well, summoning these. So I can't just summon... Actually, maybe if I put them in the same uh, spell, and that was them dying. Uh, okay, sounds like we've got early visitors today. Like, it is our turn with the uh, bi-weekly dinner, or with the weekly dinner, since one week at our place, the other week at the aunt and uncle's. And this week is ours, but apparently it sounds like we've got more visitors. For... <laughs> and earlier visitors. Uh, let's see, where is this spitter thing in here? Uh, let's see. I think I may have seen it. Let's see, may as well summon a few bodyguards for myself. Okay, it's apparently three. Let's see. Cosmo, Soul Vulture, Spectre, Guster, Emu, Platypus, Stratpole, Stradler, Warped, Cosmo, what? <laughs> okay. Extremely dangerous and powerful mutation of the Crimson Mosquito. And the Crimson Mosquito sucks blood of a strange fungal creature, especially when covered in warped fungus. Ow. Uh, da -da -da. Once the Moscow will be enraged and attack any nearby creature it sees at food, using its massive body as a weapon, its attack includes an aerial body slam, <laughs> punching, smashing, and sucking the blood of its prey to regenerate health. Okay. If, if slain, however, unlikely the warped Moscow drops warped muscle and hemolymph sacs. These materials, when combined with others, can be used to create the hemolymph. You know, hemolymph a blaster, an upgraded version of the Crimson Mosquito Blood Sprayer. Okay. Gross. Now, where is this spitter thing? Cosmic Cod, Flutter, Cosma, Mimic Octopus. Would be nice if there was a way to tell these apart, the summoned ones apart easier. Let's see, where is the damn thing? Potu, Mudskipper, Rhinoceros, Sugar Glider, Skunk, Murmur, Underminer, Screecher, Farseer, Slug, Typhus, Flying Fish. Nope, and that was the spell running out. Nope, oh, hello. Actually, is it part of Alex mobs? It did say it when we looked at it, right? Oh, no, uh, oh, Untamed Wilds. Okay, that yeah, that explains. Uh, let's see. Does Undead, un, not Undead, that Untamed Wilds have... Does that have a book? Uh, I think it should have. Uh, let's see. Sword by mods, waystone star, paladin, iron. Yep. Okay, apparently it's getting a bit friendly. I'm not seeing another book that might be it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. On the walls, ownership deed, mob analyzer. Okay. Let's see. Terror bird egg. Glimmering egg. I'm not seeing anything here that could act as a, uh, a, a mod book. I Still, guess... I find strange sometimes when c certain mods like that just don't have a book to explain what the hell they do. Maybe analyze is the thing that helps you with that, but uh, they've also had the, the whole UW thing, so maybe that's the book? No, that's an item. Hmm. 
Yeah, but it requires. Uh, oh. Wait, it requires a book it, still. No. When it shows only an anvil and things that can be enchanted on it, then it's something that you can't uh, make. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. We'll have to ask Tatum about that probably then. For now... Yeah, well, I think I see the, saw them in a video. I just... Sort of forgot uh, what they are used for. Yeah, that's one of the smaller ones. Oops, yeah, hello. <laughs> okay. Uh, this actually makes sort of sense with the lava there heating this up, filling it with tropical fish. No. That clues. No, no, actually, no. That clues to the lava. Will the yeah, that would, make. That would boil it. Yeah. So, yeah, good thing that there's no such things as uh, heat dynamics in the uh, <laughs> in Minecraft, unless you mod it in. I, mean, I think it would be a bit too tough. It it would make things a bit too tough to uh, add something like that. So yeah, on that. and I did that to Alheim. And apparently, the more south you're in the water, the hotter it gets. So you can't boil to death in the water near the ashlands. <laughs> okay. There. You lot go deal with that. It seems like... It seems like they work sort of similar to dogs. As in, they won't automatically attack things. Unless you attack first. Or you get attacked. Get the work, you idiots. Never mind, it's dead already. Okay, that's the way we came. Zoom. Okay, this looks to be joining back up with it. Some more Wonderland. flutters. There we go. Thank you for your contribution. I think mean, you got two ender pearls. Maybe I don't really? remember if, if I had any before, but yeah, this is the the looting sword. I might I might actually make a third one for just more general combats and try to get the uh, last shot with the lucky sword. Okay, because I. Uh, let's see, it's not in here, so it's... Yeah, there it is. Uh, this sword I ha I made for fighting just groups of things. So let me put that there in front. Because, well, when I hit the target, it does that. It basically just throws down a grenade, and, well, this, this will be the perfect thing to show it with. Yeah. That deals quite a lot, huh? Holy! Like a frozen tidal wave. Okay, oh, freezing. That away, I guess. I'll have to take another look through that book sometime to uh, see if there's any creatures of interest for me. For now, let's just continue down this way. Uh, let's uh, wait. Well. A griffin will make sense. True. Okay, let's just also, put these three away. Uh, have you asked about the changing in your origin, if you're allowed to? Um, yeah, I don't think that's come up yet as something to that's allowed or not. So I will have to ask about that. Uh, let's see. Nothing here. Hmm. And does this lead anywhere? I should probably pick up some of these. Because <clears throat> these are basic uh, or base game things, the glow berries. I'm not entirely too sure how you can farm those or make a farm for those yourself. Glowberries? Yep. Oh, I know. 
Jo. Jag just the you plant them uh, underground on a tree and they will slowly grow the blueberries. Okay. Oh, these glares. I still don't know what the hell is up with those things. Like the rascals you're supposed to play hide and seek with. Uh, with these, I have no clue. What I do have a clue yeah. about is that this is the way we came. So let's check down the sides. And also I got excited for uh, taming some of them. But they never explained uh, what they were for. Hmm. Didn't know you could even tame them. Hmm. Apparently you can. I sadly forgotten how. Let's pick up a few more of these. You can probably find some use for them. Actually. Yeah, I don't think I even paid attention how the 100 day YouTuber did it. There. More axolotls. Okay. Time to up the spell again. And yeah, this way. And yeah, that's about in the direction where we went. Uh, oh, here's <coughs> two of these rascals. Okay. How are you supposed to play hide and seek with them then? Well, you already found them, so. Uh... Okay. Do you get anything for it? Yeah, I I think you're supposed to find them multiple times. And okay, yeah, they go invisible, run off. And there they go again. The fact that I can see them on the radar is a bit cheaty, perhaps, but oh well. Oh, a sudden dragon. Oh, 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 a bundle with six, 16 iron ore in it. Okay. <laughs> That's a nice Ooh. surprise. Okay, so you technically only need to find them twice. Well, twice after you find them in the first time. Okay, sounds like the improved version from what they uh, had it on the, the Minecraft original plan. They, they just give you random tools like mining pick and all that. Okay. That before it starts binding me. That was quick. Yep. I should probably put the lucky break spell on a wand to get a discount on it with how often I need to cast it at times. Yeah, and actually, when you think about it, you're all a mage. You, True. You should probably have an attack wand. Now, with the lucky break, I mean the one that gives me extra stuff from ease. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. I just uh, add it into the recommendations where you go surprising a lot in melee for a wizard. Oh, this is the easiest to aim when you're just up close with them. Okay. Oh, dear. <clears throat> now, let's see. Which way is back? It's not this way. I do think we've passed by here. I've definitely been here and yeah, there's the... <laughs> okay, back here then. Uh, let's see. All right, Maybe here... Should, uh... Did I tell about... I think I told you about this, but not on stream. Basically, this is where I plan to start a bit of a, a creature farm, or mob spawner stuff and such. Oh dear. Uh, I was to say something, but what the was that? It I was to say. Mm. Anyways, also I put in floors on all of the other floors. And just punched holes everywhere to make it easy to fly around. Uh, let's see. Hmm. These bundles could be pretty useful for just storing stuff. Um, I don't think I've ever put glow bear. I found glow bear. 
No, I haven't found those before. Okay, they're now being sorted in as well. Uh, let's grab these out of these. And just put them here for the moment. Uh, let's see. May as well take a moment then to uh, put you a distance away so we don't go picking this up. But yeah, may as well show just how quickly they work here. Yeah, quite fast. Oh, those are tent. I thought those were tusks. <laughs> Starbunker is, of course, running over to try and grab it. But yeah, he's breaking each of those uh, blocks into six dust. Did you get something? Yes, you did. Actually, I'll take that out. Yeah, they did. I, was, I saw it on the tail. Okay, then we just put that the small thing here. Actually... Yeah. Let's leave enough in there for one round. And just put the rest in the actual blast furnace, which is, well, twice as fast. In both burning and consuming. So it is the same amount of resources used. It's just, well, twice as fast. Okay, plenty of stone to work with. And yeah, we can see the Wixie do her work in a sec then. <clears throat> Just need to wait for enough gold to be here. Just one more. Yes, something to matter. Uh, there she goes. Just brings the stuff over from nearby inventories, puts in the cauldron. And then with a bit of source, it's turned into, well, the recipe. And, well, this time, <laughs> Book here picked it up, but normally the, the Starbunkle would. Uh, also, yeah, I've walked past this a few times. This is basically a little trophy from a uh, the dungeoneering I I done off stream. Okay. Uh, and yeah, beyond that, I've mostly fixed the sorting issue here. There's still some things that are not getting sorted and such. But yeah, by putting these up with mimic scrolls at the back, then a lot of just the random gear does get put away as well now. Okay. Um, yeah, let's, let's throw that to you, store away extra stuff, and these go here, uh, yeah, empty this out, and yeah, once all of this is being sorted, we can get to work on, well, <laughs> fancying up the tower some. Yeah. You know, you want me to ask the group if you're allowed to change your origin? I'll, I'll ask it myself some other time. It's not like we can what? really do anything like that anyways at the moment. Is, how are orbs of origin even made, at, I believe? Uh, okay, you don't make those. You can know, probably means that only the admins can get it then. Oh. Okay. There we go. This is probably a good thing for otherwise we can agree that some, someone could abuse it a lot. Yeah. Okay, pick that up, put that in its place, put you away, and where do we keep picking up these source berries from? You know what? Good luck. Oh dear. All right then. I've got plenty of logs here from the farm. Uh, something I should probably show off a bit as well is that, yeah, I, I think with this it is just it chicken upstairs. 
Yeah, I, I think I do. We'll just need to clear these out every so often to get rid of the uh, extra of these starworm cl clusters that the uh, these turn into over time. Because I don't think they can actually farm off of those. Hmm. I might need That's to set up right. a bit of a test for that, maybe. There. Are you surprised they haven't done anything else with the other uh, pillars? Yeah. I, I On previous mod packs, I think we've had it where they... Well, they did just go out and work on an entire field of these, but apparently not here for some but reason. It, one of them is working on a different po uh, pillar at the moment, but... Yeah. Maybe they host them quickly enough? And just leave them once in the middle alone? Hmm. I doubt it. They would, they would look like uh, they had budding uh, clusters and such. So... I don't think it's that. Uh, but yeah, with each of these farms, I've put down a few extra repositories to just deal with overflow. I'm trying to get a thing going with uh, Pika that I send any extra meat that I get over to them for them to work with. And in, that in, yeah, in exchange for that, I get uh, source berries. I haven't gotten a reply on that yet. But I don't hey. see why they would decline that. I also set up some Wait, You pay the meat and they pay you source berries? In a source berry pie. Okay, okay, there we go. Mostly because this here is a farmer's delight thing, which is Pika's uh, stick. And I'd rather not uh, intrude on that. Yeah, makes sense. Just, you, you, you did mention the pie part. It must have slipped my mind on that. Okay, also something to do is to... Uh, hello. Okay, where the heck did that come from? Wait, yeah, also wait, some... really? You, you kill a sword with a sword. Do you see the tiny side of your side? No, I'm not going to use the sword on you, little guy. I'm just, just gonna going punch to punch you. They're going to poke it. Okay. The poop of uh, death. Let's see. Do I have any wood on hand? But I should I should put fences and such around these portals because things keep falling into them. Not just yeah. one over here at Vanus. Yeah, definitely give all of them doors. It's... I'm gonna throw some food into the machine. Okay. Let's turn it into six there. Okay. Um, wigs for sticks. Uh, let's see. I keep forgetting the. I, I keep forgetting if this one is the one for fences. Yeah. Okay. That's the one. Um, should probably do more than that, just in case. So there and there. Okay, full stack should be enough. Okay. Yeah, let's go fence off. The yeah, let's go fence off uh, the portals to so a. I'll have less intruders. I'm surprised this one hasn't managed to go through th this yet. I probably should make a few gates as well. Because not everyone can just walk right over them. I uh, forgot the sticks. There. Okay. That's one. Send size. Round back for now. Okay, since I've been upgrading quite a bit. That's a big moth. 
Okay. Should cover this side as well. Because they do work both ways like that. Okay. Wait, hold on. That, that, that's it? Yeah, that's it for the moment. I don't want to spend too much time on this since we are well we're to <laughs> we're to decorate the tower. Oh you think it takes more time to make two doors. Now the, the these are definitely not getting covered by just two doors. Oh, okay. For one they're three wide, so that would look weird. Uh, oh, yeah, they are, bloody heck. Make a bunch of sticks. There. Okay, things can still fall in from above, but hopefully less. Yeah, I'll look at... Uh... Yeah, right, I should cover the back of this thing. I'll look into upgrading things a bit more. Oop. Ah, right. This one spawned. The, that portal pushes you right onto these. Um, okay. Let me instead... Now we can get in and out without having to pass through those. Oh. And I still forgot to cover the back. Oh dear. Yep. Oh wait, it already is covered. Uh, is that Ryan gonna keep sleeping here? Apparently. Uh, let's see. Mine doesn't need covering. Chaz course might. Okay. Okay, the back is covered. And there. Um I still need to set up the one to the stronghold. Uh, let's see, do I even have that one on here? Is the Explorer one, Desert Dungeon, Jazz Core. Is this the one? Okay, this is this is a stronghold, but not the one we were planning to go for because uh, since I already put up some portal frames there. So yeah, this is a <laughs> This is a stronghold that we've already cleared out, mostly. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I don't think I've looked through the other one yet. Uh, but yeah, one of the reasons we're not going with this one is because the, <laughs> the world generation messed up a bit and fused this one together with another dungeon. Or not a stronghold dungeon, but a different one. It, apparently, I missed some boxes here. Just grab the foods. Any books that might have anything of interest. Yeah, no need for water bottles. Okay. okay, I really missed a lot here. Music disc. I'm surprised. Uh, builder's tea. I don't even know what builder's tea actually really does. There. Mm 
Hmm. I'm pretty sure I have, probably have most of these journals already in storage, but better to well, better to grab them all and not have a gap than to suddenly discover, our, oops, I left a bunch behind that I didn't have yet. Not putting you away. There. Extra bucket is always nice. Are those empty bottles? Yep. So not too much use. Really? Yeah, I already have plenty of them and they're pretty easy to make. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Beetroot soup. Yeah, it's only three uh, glass for like three of them. So one glass for one... Uh, <clears throat> one glass for one bottle. And I have a little setup specifically for making glass. So, yeah. Okay. okay. Hmm. I don't think I have the waystone for the other one then. Though we can take a quick look. Okay, is there a spawner for these little bastards here? Because I haven't broken anything. I've broken any stones for them to spawn from. Uh, let's see. Pyramids, Desert Border, Mystic Mountain, Seaside, Vanna, Explore. You mind? Let's see. Oh, okay. Someone, someone broke my explorer uh, one. It seems. Um, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know where. Uh, I don't know where the other stronghold is then. Oh dear. Okay. Yeah, you're probably gonna end up having to ask the others about that one. Uh, this one here I've already completed. Yeah, basically, this is a, yeah, a dungeon below. Uh, da -da -da. A note of caution. I discovered this mighty maze on my travels. I barely got out alive. This is the most treacherous dungeon I've set foot in. I suspect the treasure hidden at the end will be worth it. Uh, will be worth its weight in gold. That's a <laughs> cram. It's, it's a mistake there. But if you're reading this, don't go in. But if you do go in, look for five levers hidden within the first level. Once you flick them all, a door will open. There also seems to be a curse protecting these ruins. Maybe it will lift when you reach the end. Good luck, don't die. Salazar, Dungeon Buster Extraordinaire. Uh, yeah. There's a small maze at the bottom here. Which was rather annoying to deal with. And you would, have, uh, you would normally have the mining fatigue put on you whilst you were here. A gust maker. Okay. Oh, hello. I'll take that as well. Hmm. Is for Alex mobs? Apparently. Mixed together with create. But yeah, there is a bunch of uh, switches in the route. I don't I have no idea what this hand crank is connected to. Uh, let's actually break the place so we can actually take a look at what it might be connected to. Let's see, a gearbox. And it gets all the way over here. And my food stone, BRB. Okay. Nope. Did I find? Yes, I found that before. Okay. Where is that going? Oh, okay. So that's supposed to break open this little hidden area full of golden apples. Yep. Inventory full. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably switch to putting my valuable stuff in here. And yeah, let's grab these. Okay, so that was supposed to bring a block up here. Okay. 
let's see. I, yeah, I, I tried turning that thing both ways for quite a bit, but it never did anything. Or, well, I, I never found the, uh, the, the, I found, never found the chest there, I think, or not in time until after I'd gotten through this, uh, beaten the boss at the end, which also lifts the, which also lifts the miner's fatigue or whatever it's called again. And yeah, okay, there's something, okay, there's a, there's a crocodile in the area next here. Uh, yeah, there's an entire pit that's supposed to be full of them here. A crocodile eggs? And, oh, <laughs> it's a... <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay, yeah, now I remember that's, that's the sound young crocodiles make. Okay, but yeah, this is one of those switches. Uh, I forget specifically where the door is that it opens. Because, well, it doesn't tell you where that is, of course. You get to find that out by just running around until you find something I haven't found before. Labyrinth, Labyrinth Journal 1. Okay. Traps. There are booby traps all over the place in this thing. I almost experienced a fiery end after opening a trap chest. I'm not sure this is worth the risk, but my curiosity is getting the better of me. I suppose I'll track on. Salazar. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can I find the entrance to the second area? Yeah. This was a trapped area full <clears throat> with bamboo spikes at the bottom. Let's get rid of the vines. A little dead end with the chest. And back to the middle again. Yeah, th this place is easy to get turned around in, but I did manage to solve it eventually. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, the village down there and a the pyramid over here. Let's give that a quick visit before we head back to the tree. Or not the tree, to the, the tower and make it into part tree. Let it load in. Here you go, I'm back. Welcome back. And a Sunday mean. It's a book nearby. And yeah, this is also a dungeon. And yeah, there we have mining fatigue. Uh, let's no, take care of this a, one quick. There's a pyramid, Captain. Yep. Lodi! Oh, that's why. Freaking necromancer. Yeah, and ooh, camel. Is it vanilla or uh, modern camel dough? Ow. Uh, untamed. I think the... I think the base game camels are a lot chunkier. Yeah, but you. you can put two chests on them. And two yeah, people can ride them as well. Yeah, okay, that's one of those tarantula hogs. Okay. Yeah, they'll they'll actually go out to kill spiders, lay their eggs in them, and then bury them. I think kept them in tarantula hogs. You, you accidentally called tarantula hugs. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm pretty sure I did not. <laughs> okay. Now we can look at that up later. Okay. Yeah, it, it paralyzed. This, oh, right. It, it, they don't kill the spider, they paralyze them. Then they lay their eggs in them. So, yeah. So when the uh, brood hatches, they can eat the uh, the spider alive. So yeah, not uh, not a pleasant creature. And yeah. it's going for that spider. 
sting it, paralyze it. And is it running off to go kill another one? Or, or not? Okay, apparently that one was just out of spite. At Roadrunner. Okay. Let's take a bit of a look here. And yes, I blocked the, the entrance off to not have to deal with it at the moment. And yeah, I'm pretty sure the moment we uh, heal ourselves from this mining fatigue, it'll just reapply it. Uh, also, Vanna started making weapons. So yeah, <laughs> pistol for everyone. No, not that. Uh -oh. that. All right, I set this one to only heal because it would also disp dispel any buffs as I put a dispel on that. Uh, let's see, do I have this spell on this one? Nope. Clear. The spell. Yep. Really? <laughs> These stupid dragons are just popping up everywhere. Okay, I I will have to go look for better combat gear with just how hard some things can hit. Uh, let's see. Night vision. Okay. Now, I know that there's supposed to be a bunch of puzzles with these. But I have no freaking idea how they work. At the very least, disarm these spawners. There's probably more. Major Max the Nifty. Okay, that's a witch from the outline. Uh, let's see. I'm mostly just looking for the spawners right now, so I can get rid of them. Yeah, with this one, it's, uh... Yeah, you need to stop it at a certain point, I believe. But I'm not sure at what point that is. It's... Hmm. Okay. I don't think it's outside. Uh, let's see. Any spawners left around here? It's a big open area in there, so there's probably a spawner in a hidden room or something. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely rooms behind these walls. I don't want to just go break them nilly willy. Or willy nilly. The. Okay, they were on the outside. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> now, let's have a look. Elastic iron boots of the fox. It's not out uh, there. Streamlined arrow flinger of the current. Okay. I've got a better bow than that already. Arrow uh, flinger? Yeah. But yeah. I'll try my hand at this place some other time. So for now, back to the tower so we can actually get to work on what I said we were going to do. Okay, why are you not sorting stuff into there? There's clearly iron and such. Okay, sometimes these little idiots just need a quick kick or something to get them working again. For now, let's just put all of this away. There. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, the standard key for opening that uh, substantial satchel is B, but that's already covered with uh, the backpack and such. So I, I switched it over to the slash. Okay, it's okay. That would not interact or interrupt with any of that. Okay. Now, let's go grab these. Stack of each should do for a first bit. Okay. Uh, it, it seems that the it seems that the night vision is freaking out for some reason. So let's see. Okay. There, change this one to self. There we go. Sometimes that I don't know why that happens. It's just the duration of the night vision gets glitched out for some reason. But it's easily enough removed. Okay. Uh, let's see. To start with, I think we can go with just going... <clears throat> We're just making these circles around with the uh, wood instead. Uh, actually, can use right. this. Or, <clears throat> not this one. Can Why pick are those up later. Up? Hmm? Why are the fence up here? Uh, in case something spawns or falls on down here, survives and tries to walk in. Ah. Yeah, I'll clean the. I'll clean up. Uh, the, the, the remaining bits on a second pass. Pick everything up as well. that okay yeah the book is picking it all up as I pass by okay yeah putting up that flights <laughs> that flight ritual has been a real uh lifesaver with stuff like this okay hmm I think I will have to make a, an entry hall somewhere, perhaps. So anyone who comes on foot can enter instead of having to, well, climb up a ladder up the side of the mountain, up the, up the side of the tower. Yeah. You may as well uh, tell them to uh, get some exercise before entering. I did not mean to hit that. Oh dear. Yeah, those are there we go. Yeah. Okay. We can leave that. Make it look like they're holding up the tree rings. Yeah. 
Yeah, if you're gonna change your origin, it's not like you like you probably should take uh, something like an elf. Yeah, we'll have to see. I'll 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 check all the ones that are available out. It's just not the it's not just the basic ones that normally come with the mod itself. There's a bunch of extra ones as well. Oh dear. Okay, that's all of them, I think. Okay. Um. Right. There. Okay, green here. Red. Okay, it only leaves purple. Okay. need to make sure we don't go past the middle let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine one oh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay so six the sixth one of these is the middle one, uh, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So two here. Okay. And then we begin with the other one. And yeah, this is the exact middle. So... I'll probably put something else instead there. All right. <clears throat> Do you really want the uh, inside to book out? Now for that, I can mix these together into these, which are covered on all sides. Ah, okay, okay. See, I can put those yeah. as cornerstones in after. Okay, yeah, that's probably a good idea. And I missed these here. Okay. Not like that. Okay, that's the well half of the first ring done. There will be more, of course. Hmm. Yeah, these corner bits are going to get covered later. <laughs> you doing okay? You're not gonna be wrong. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, two, three, four, five. Mm. Okay. Green next. Yeah. Okay, what are you doing out here? What the? Get in. Okay, okay. I, I think I know what happened. He tried to pick up the blocks that we broke. Oh, yeah, you should probably have to put some windows. Hmm. 
could, but then it would be a bit of a pain in the ass to get out. All right, maybe you should become a a cat wizard. Yeah, there is one way I could make an easy way out. Uh, let's see. Tier 3. Intangible. Yeah, da, da, da. Causes blocks to temporarily turn into air. Can be modified with Amplify for blocks of higher hardness. AOE, duration down, and extend time. And... Okay, I just need to get a few uh, phantom membranes for that. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, did I do one too many? <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Three, four, five, six. Okay, I see what I did wrong. There. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I did it wrong here as well. And I, th I think Ink is trying to get into the room. So give me a sec. No, she's trying to get out. <laughs> Apparently she sn snuck in at some point. <clears throat> Okay, this time let me note this one first. Um, I should grab another one that's not the same color as everything else. There. Complete opposite. And yeah, I, I should do some decorating with probably this. And Oh, hello there. <laughs> Sorry, I completely missed chat. Uh, let's oh, see. Game Master Player. Uh, let's see. Kev, I told you before <clears throat> that you got too much power in this game, so therefore no one man should have all that power. The clock's ticking. <laughs> I just count the hours. Stop tripping. Uh, I'm tri tri uh, Stop tripping. I'm tripping off the power. 21st century schizoid man. Okay. <laughs> uh, did you smoke anything questionable, Grandmaster? Also, hi, Marco. Hello, Marco. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. There. Okay. How are both of you doing? Other than apparently tripping. There. Okay. And then last but not least, we have Blazing Archwoods. Also, that reminds me, I, I should put up some guard dogs out here. Or rather, guard trees. Uh, let's see. Tablet of Restoration. Did I store them here? Yes. Tablet of Awakening. Let's grab four of those. And one, two, three, four. Hmm. I could probably have these guard the main gate or something. I'm thinking I'd probably put that here then. It's <laughs> still that gecko toe uh, on the ground. <laughs> uh. Okay, now I'm just getting the silly idea of uh, having that as a gate guardian. Just <laughs> peeking in every so often. Uh, your work just... You, you really wanted to do that? <laughs> it's just stone. keeping an eye on the visitors. Okay. Uh, let's see. Alright, this... 
I just, yeah, I removed the grow spell, but it's easy enough to do. So there. Okay. Then we grab the ritual brazier. There. Okay. There, there, and there. And there we go. One wheeled walker to guard this place. Uh, I should actually put up a stone to mark their home at. There. Um, where is the wand? There's the main wand. Okay. You. Guard here. Okay. Now just the rest. I think that'll be close enough for all three of those. So... Actually, what happens if I try that near multiple of these? I'm guessing it'll just do the closest one. It's still worth a look. And it'll also save me a few rituals. Uh, let's see. Master, Grandmaster Player, I wish I did. Just got back from work, hoping some drinks will make me relaxed. Okay, it will just do one. Uh, got to help my company with something on one of my days off, of course. But yeah, hopefully you can relax to us screwing around in Minecraft then. And let's see. Marco, okay, playing some games. That's one of the Terrapins. Move you away since all you're really here to do is be a Mario reference. Or at least act as a Mario yeah, turtle shell. There. And last but not least. Come on. Don't tell me it's just far, just a bit too far away from it. I think Bonk. it is. Bonk. There could be something else going on. I think he had some. He might be get confused, but I think he has yeah, another nothing tree else. stuck. No, this just counts as one tree. I don't think it's that. Okay, yeah, it's just too far away. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it needs to be in about four radius. Okay, luckily these are easy enough to make. Just a bit of an annoyance to make more of them. And yeah, the reason I have a bunch of those stored up is for, well, more bookworms. There we go. Okay. Now, let's name these. Uh-oh. <clears throat> uh, we need the projectile and the name tag. Let's see. There. And yeah, they get named to whatever you name the spell. So this one is now Greenbeard's. Uh, don't forget, they ha that one had a beard. Yeah, they're getting beard names anyway, so this one definitely has a beard. That, that one definitely a beard. And of course I miss. There we go. And last but not least, we have... Purple stuff. Oh dear. Uh, oh, should we name the damn gecko that keeps peeking through the stone? Let's see if we can actually. 
And I know I'm going to make a reference with this. Uh-oh. Let's see. There, there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, anyone who knows Ultima, or Ultima Decently, the video game series that is, will probably get this joke now. Okay. Okay, a bit, yeah, a bit sad that we can't see it through the floor, or it's named through the floor at least. Okay. Um, okay. Continuing on with this. Keeping that blade just in case. Okay. And it sounds like the visitors are leaving. Okay, I, I thought they were going to be staying. Well, I thought they could have been staying for a bit, but apparently not. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and this should be the middle. Let's put one of these here. Maybe I'll... Hmm. Maybe I'll put one of those if, at each of those. Or each of the uh, middle points. Okay. Uh, let's. Uh, what games are you playing then, Marco? One of the ones you got... Uh... <laughs> Addicted to what, what was it called again? Dismantle, I believe. Which I have heard of. I think I can see the little. And there. <clears throat> okay. There. And there. Oh, okay. Hello, Tatum. Yep. Hey, Tatum, how are you doing? Well, I hope. Okay. Yeah, just having one ring around this is going to be a look is going to look a bit weak. So here we go. Though I will need to get more wood for this. Honestly, double up to be certain. Yeah, how are you doing, Tatum? I'm well, <laughs> I'm working on the tower as you can see. There. Okay, that should be all of that. Okay, I'll have to expand this outwards a bit further as well. But I'll do that once both of these have been more closely... Oh, hello! <laughs> Just the little idiots I need. Okay, that's one. Yep. Really, only one phantom? Okay. <laughs> Makes it all the easier. Oh, no. We know. Yeah, he showed us it earlier. Yeah, let's see. You know there's wood with no logins. Yeah, I... These uh, ones. I, I'll use those as cap points later. Uh, there. Got them mixed up for a sec. There and there. Okay. And there. Okay. Let's put another one of these here. There and there. Mm, sticks out a bit more. Mm, a bit uncertain of leaving that open like that, but I'll see what else I'll come up with. For now, continue on the other way. There. 
there. Oh, uh, no, I think I, re I didn't realize what these green ones remind me of. What then? Cucumbers. Okay. But they are green on outside and very... But they, they are different on the, on the inside. I was also you would call it yellow inside a cucumber. Mm. It's there. A pickle would definitely be green. That's what I was hearing. They they send in the, the reinforcement. And they'll have to send in more. Oh, nine. Okay, it's more than I need. Actually, what else can this be made with this plushy recovery rune? Okay, and that's cage stuff. Phantom trophy, handcrafted. Okay, can be used to repair elytras. Can be made for threat of undying. And intangible. Okay. Oh, Phantom Train Track. Okay, so that's what the uh, sense I was talking about. Okay, I'm, I misread there. Oh. I misread it as a Phantom Train Wreck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I, I probably will remove this at some point and rebuild it. There, yeah, rebuild the. Uh, actually, where exactly does the portal to my place put you down? Okay, yeah, so I will need to rebuild that portal, or at least, at least, uh, at least uh, give it a new exit point. Because, yeah, I'll probably remove this and just build a proper entrance somewhere. Maybe on this level, maybe below. We'll have to see. Also, Tatum, we have a gin here, we have an Afritz, we have what's called a, a, a foliot, but it reminds me of just a a dark-skinned dwarf and with horns on the head yeah so i guess a chaos dwarf and here we have a marid <laughs> all of these are ore crushers that will well multiply the ores you throw at them okay back to this Uh, wait. I did not do that correctly, I think. Uh, let's see. There, now it's correct, because now it's too wide at each of these points as well. Okay. Now the other way. Not yet. I almost forget. Okay. I may have them holding source gems like on the inside with this. But we'll see about that. For now, continue on this way. Oh, oh right. <laughs> uh, yeah, these they'll actually fight stuff. Okay, that one's hurts. Oh. I thought, he, I thought he died and became a head. Nope. Okay, they can restore from that, I believe. Lowest airstrike ever. Okay, I might... Hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you, as okay. you can guess, one of them throws around fireballs. Which is not too helpful to the rest. Yeah. Uh, 
Maybe figure out which one does the fire and maybe don't summon that one again? Yeah, I think it's pretty clear with one of them being a blazing version. Ground don't show up too often. <laughs> <laughs> okay, th that's from one of the enchantments on my armor, th thorns. Wait, where is it? Thorns? Let's see. Protection, mana regen, better weight, blast protection. Uh, oh, rebounding. That must be it. Basically knocking back anything that hits me. Okay, uh, let's store it. The extra stuff away for a second. Two phantom heads. All of this. Well, they are they are effective at killing stuff, though it's also good at getting themselves killed. Okay, there. Oh, hello. Rune chain. Okay, now for a moment I thought they might have killed off a uh, boss. Purple. Four fire damage. And okay, now I've got enough of the uh, membranes. Yeah, maybe you should take a little nap. Mm -hmm. And also, to do this once again, your own private quarters. <laughs> yeah, eventually. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. Blessing of life. How'd you, how'd you get wither? Okay. There we go. And, okay, what are we to do with the blazing one? Uh, probably trap it or something, or build it a tower. Uh, let's see, there, heal. You're gonna give the troublemaker its own tower. There. There you are. Uh, let's see. I think they're supposed to regrow over time. There. Let's see. And uh, you can't kill them yourselves. I think I can. Um, let's see. Where... Might be better I need to do. Rituals. Awakening. Mm-hmm. Turn into wield walkers if they die. To create a wield walker, perform uh, wield waddlers if they die. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it heal over time. Okay, so they do not regrow into full versions. Okay, or oh oh, they will regrow. It just takes them quite a long time, as you can see at the top there. Uh, a thousand seconds, 15 minutes or something. Okay. I think you lot need to uh, have a bit of a timeout. At least to the point that you don't get yourselves killed. <clears throat> Yeah, they need reinforcement and uh, new fire. Oh. You know what? M maybe they should give uh, the fire one to someone else. No. <laughs> Why does it be their problem instead of ours? <laughs> Get off of that. Get in there. Ah, 
back in. Okay. More stone, and of course they're, they're running off again. Let's see, that should be able to keep them in. Come on, I should be able to pick you up. Have you pick... seen how big they are? They're, they're, they're go <laughs> this one's going back in on their own. Come on. Get in there. There we go. He took the scenic routes. Okay, come on, get in there. I don't think they can go up two blocks. Hmm. Idea. Uh, just in case. That, but also... Though the Wattlers might get out like that. Uh, yeah. Say hello to the doormat, Potato. <laughs> I may need to put slabs on these to ensure that the Wattlers don't get out. Let's first what, see what? if they actually can get through it. It should try to return to the guard point if I put it far enough away. And yeah, th these are mage fires, so they don't actually spread. They will still hurt, but they don't actively spread. And, okay, I guess it can get through since it's pathing around, or it's just screwing around. Okay, I think they don't, I think they can't fit through that. Could be because of the hair, so maybe this one will be able to escape. His blue beard, whose beard is now a mustache. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Uh, let's see. Anything in here specifically about the wheeled walkers? Let's see. Archward Forest. Um, Burn. Mm -hmm. D. E. F. G. Okay, sometimes these don't all go in <clears throat> yeah, alphabetical order. And it'll restart at some point. Like here, Walden, Armor Upgrading, Starbuncle Mania. The Wixie can now cook. Place a Wixie on a furnace to allow it to smelt and smoke items. Also uh, compatible with a cooking pot. Formers Delight and Crucibles. Eidolon Repraised. Don't think we have that to automate them. Place a Wixie on a stone cutter or on a cutting board to have it use their cra cutting recipes for crafting. Okay. This might be good for you and Pika, uh, Tatum. Uh, let's see. Ah, wheeled walkers. Living archward trees that guard their homes against hostile monsters. A wheeled walker can be created from the rich. Da, 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 will roam randomly unless given a home position. Uh, okay. Blazing wheeled walker casts flare at nearby enemies. Careful not to ignite any blocks in the process. The cascading casts freeze and cold snap. The flourishing cast an amplified harm with a snare effect. And the vexing caught cost cast hacks and an amplified wit on it. It casts a spell on itself. The idiots. Oh dear. Okay. It sounds like this one and this one will be the well best versions to have guarding since they don't have; ch they have less chance of collateral damage. Actually, probably yeah. this one is the only one with no chance, since it's not an AOE attack. At least as far as we know. 
Okay, uh, back to this. Where were we? And we can start from here again. There. Okay, now we kind of want to see how they do in a fight. Against each other? No, against mobs and maybe players. Oh, no. There. I do have this area below, which looks sort of like an arena at the moment. Hmm. Like if I were to put a roof over this, uh, yeah, I'd basically have a, an arena over here. And yeah, I can still do a side tower for other stuff, like, well, my own quarters and such. Let's see. Hmm. I probably should change this as well at some point, because it's not really a circle, is it? it's just a star more. Also, something I figured out with these armor stands. Normally when you just click on a bit with right click, you just pick it up. But if you crouch and click, you swap armor. So that's a good uh -huh. way to just swap between. Ah! Okay, what was that one for? Um, the end one. Had one. <laughs> Has been there for quite a while now. And it, it didn't oh, fall or anything. But you did throw yourself out of the window. Still not counting it. <laughs> but again, it was meant for the skull if I saw it move. Yeah, it just it moves every time we you, know, you look at it. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> okay. There. Not there. Let's move these forward. Okay. There. Capstone. And the other side. Uh, wait. Hey. There, I think. Okay, we were busy with this bit, so let's finish that off. I okay, think I did that wrong. Uh, let's see. No, that's one too many. Yep, here. Yep. Mm, still a bit off, I think, but better than before, I think. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I, I see. The, I see the difference here. With all of these, you have all of these. It it yeah, looking the same way, but here they're not. So yeah, I did that wrong. See, that also means that I did the wrongs behind it wrong, but oh well. There. 
Not exactly you will be able to see the too easily unless you read up at it. Let's see. Yeah, did I do? Hmm. Yep, not that one. Okay, all of these facing inwards, all of these, hmm. Okay, let's go with this then. Just, yeah, outwards facings. Hmm. Aren't they gonna get hidden anyway? Yeah, but it's more about the pattern up top. That that's going to be just a minor detail. Um, let's see. Should I go for a third layer to, so that these are encapsulated as well? Then again, there'd be. Hmm. First off, um, let's sort these out a bit. Might be a meat much unless you uh, thicken it. There. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with source stones there. Or source gem blocks. Up. Mm -hmm. There. Also, I can put that one back in the bag. There. Now with blue. Two. Well, anyway, it's pretty good you have them a bit random since. Let's be honest, it's a tree. True. Put that there. Okay. Then purple. There. Okay, triple checking. I don't think I should thicken it too much past this point. Yeah. Unless you add it on top and bottom as well to make it look like, look like a real thick root around it, but... Uh... And maybe some other time. Yeah, and it, it 
it will cost more wood. Yeah, the wood I have basically an infinite supply. It just needs time to well be harvested by the wick by the worldly sprig. There. One more. Here we go. And now to replicate that on each of these levels. I th actually, I think for that, I probably will just mix all of these together. It is a loss of one in four, but oh well. Just to have less of a hassle with uh, trying to orient them. Yeah, like, when you used to have a straight line, that's easy to do. But when you have left, right, left, right, left, right, that's where I feel like uh, the flourishing would be perfect. Okay. Let's put away the extra. Okay. And yeah, if we need more, we'll just go grab more later. For now... Hmm. Would that be too close to each other to have them like that? Or maybe alternate every other? Hmm. Let's see about alternating for the moment. Two, one, two. I, I wanted to be too thick at every point, so even the point where this pokes out. Put one here. Okay. Okay. Also have to have some parts growing up and down between to help sell the fact that it's well, not just the rings of wood, but actually a tree growing up and down along it. Yeah, that definitely will help. There. We're almost already out of these. Then again, I'm going for the second half, for the other half is right away as well. Okay, I guess that means we'll have to grab another stack of both, or all of them. And there. Blazing. And there. Hmm. Okay. It ought to have all the different numbers of them all, but oh well. It's not like I'm short on these woods anyways. Hmm. 
and there. Okay. Got diorites. Then source gem. Okay. Then purple. Go, yeah. Yeah, by putting three near these corners, it does the uh, two wide bit on them already. And if just put two out from everywhere else, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, it's not working with these bits. Uh, hmm, okay, it needs to be four of these then. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, late. Okay. Hmm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I get almost too far. Three. Okay. Let me check. There. That looks to match. Okay. I think so. There. Okay, calcite, source gem. Okay, and then the last one. Four, one, two, three. Go. All right, that's two rings done. Hmm. All right, that, that does look good. Yeah, I need those for the, well, thickness. Yeah. Okay. Out of blue. Okay, another stack of each. Okay. One, two, three, four. And yeah, you can see I have plenty of them in here at the moment. Two hundreds at the least. Hmm. 
There might be some way to get like a one of the uh, corner stairs in there, maybe. Not sure. There. Okay. I will have to put lights on these or, well, glass or something in the windows. To avoid stuff from spawning up on these. Yeah, that's probably wise. Wrong spell. You wonder, hmm. Yes. I think bloopers may help. Maybe. They do give off some light. Okay. I'll have to put some other plants around here as well. If they'll even grow just on wood and don't need dirt or something. Mm. If, if they need dirt, I can just hide them in between. Here's where there's only one side exposed. There. Well, Globalists don't need dirt. Okay. That's the entire they thing a... ringed. They just need something that's like a ceiling for them to attach uh, onto under. Okay. This isn't going to be enough to add this to the this layer as well. Uh, yep. Just as I'm about to say, oh well, I run out. There. Okay. Okay. I'll leave this bit clear just to have an easy place to fly into. Okay. And I think dinner is getting prepped downstairs, judging from all the uh, noises of glassware and such. Oop. I forgot. They're prepping it early? Sounds like it. Okay. May mean that I'll have to quit early. Let's see. Uh, it's not a biggie. Hmm. Sometimes it's good to end early. The question is if I should put such something like that on the underside here as well. Yeah, I would say so for uh, evil. Uh, or I just put another ring wrong. of uh, support underneath it, like here. Hmm. hmm. We'll have to see. Yeah, we have to see. But you should be able to add uh, glowberries under the wood. Okay, well, they haven't killed each other yet. Okay, they've restored. Okay, so it must have been 15 minutes since <laughs> they got themselves hurt. Okay, either way. And there. 
Now the red. Actually, uh, let's double check this. Uh, can you grab some blueberries? Okay, I put them here, I think. Okay. Yeah. I remember right. I may not play Minecraft people, but I have watched a lot of people that do. <laughs> okay, I'll just have to harvest a bunch more to hang all around these. Well, okay. they, we, they we produce more blueberries after all, so... True. And I can just hang one up with the whirly sprigs here as well for them to harvest. We'll definitely have it. You know what? You should definitely go to back to the cave, grab a few, and put them on all these trees. For they should grow on the leaves. It's going to do that to block that from growing too much bigger, because there's way more bamboo in here than I'll ever need. Yeah, you should... And the, yeah, the, more, blocks, the more blocks there are of something within a Whirly Sprig's home, the more it will harvest of that specifically. Or the more often, the bigger chance there is that it will harvest that, to put it in a different way. Okay. There. What the heck? Hmm? Uh, I'm re reading chat here. Uh, um, Master Player, Cap, you need to try some cherry ham and blueberry turkey with apple chicken on oh, banana pork too. Okay, suddenly uh, recipe advice. <laughs> hmm. Uh, something that made me think of banana chocolate soda is based of a candy. And here's the thing it's one of those. As a soda player, you think if you hear the thing, all oh, right, that's got to be disgusting. But you try it; it's it's not great, but it's not bad either. Which is weird. Okay. But you expect banana, a banana, uh, yeah, but chocolate banana soda to taste horrible. There. Okay. One, two, three. I'm basically putting some blocks underneath these to act as a sort of support. There. Only at the bigger corners here. There. And there. Too bad you can't make uh, stairs out of these, I think. Otherwise, I could have done that the entire way around. Or can you? Whitewashed log? What? Okay. Have you said something about Star Wars? No, Star Worm. It's the, oh, okay. the horse one. Uh, let's see. Bart's assembler. That's little contraptions. Okay. Stackable log, quartz stove, pasture, oh, hitching post. Okay. It's confused for a second. Red bridge pier, roller. Hmm. Tripwire hook. Okay, it looks like there's nothing special to make out of these. Let's these hanging these hanging canvas signs will be useful from when uh, we <clears throat> we start to set up shops somewhere, so it'll be easy to identify who's is which and such. Also, yeah, that reminds me of let's see. 
Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you <laughs> will have to make one of these soon. Uh, let's oh, you see. And uh, these are no one specific, I believe. Let's see, Brig. Of these, it looks like Brig is the biggest. So let's see. Wait, are we? Are we also one that might be made of uh, the magical wood? Uh, let's see. Or Spruce, lower down? birch, mangrove, oh, bamboo, mangrove. Uh, dark oak, and acacia. Dracar ships. Yeah, Drak. Yep, yeah, Drakar. <laughs> Let's see. Dark Oak looked to be the most closest to the typical uh, hue of ship you see. But let's go for one of these. So three boats and chests. Okay. <laughs> Donkey's still up there. Uh, let's see. How much oak do I have? Probably enough. Let's see, not that. Uh, it's one lead, it says. Already have one boat. Not that I really need one anymore. There. Wait, what? Yeah. I can fly around with these. So a boat is not really too useful, or normal boat at least. Uh, wait, wait, I'll try to make use more. I understand. You need a lead to make a boat? Probably for the rigging and such. Okay. One. Two. Three. Okay. Now these sails. Uh, more leads for more rigging. Uh, wool leads and logs. Okay, I have plenty of wool. Wait, what kind of boat are you making? I presume it's the biggest one. Uh, let's see. There. Two there. Two there. There, one more. Uh, I'll start out for a second. Okay, one, two, three. Leads. <laughs> Starbuncle dutifully comes to collect it. One oak brig. Okay. Now, how does this work? Uh, like that. Okay. Uh, don't think that's the biggest, but... Uh, let's see, how do I activate this then? Or, uh, there we go. <laughs> uh, okay, what are the controls with these then? Oh, it even has a... <laughs> it even has a... Uh, <clears throat> an inventory of its own. The inventory of its own. One of eleven Room crew. One. Okay. Uh, I guess see. it means you need a crew to steer it. Ah, yeah, toggle sail is R. There we go. Yeah, only one setting. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is still pretty nice, I'd say. Well, it, the name was yeah. Small Ships. It's not like we're going to pull out a freaking frigate. Something died in the water, I think. Okay. Uh, let's see. Cog, brig, galley. Let's try making one of each of these. Uh, galley should be big. Let's see. I have a good amount of leads. Uh, let's save one in there. 
Okay. Oh. Uh, I think you can see the glueberries are already. Yeah, the, the vines are growing. The berries themselves, not yet. Yep. But yeah, you can see why I recommended them there for the tower. Okay, let's see. Three boats. Okay, just each is three boats. Then we need three sails. Yeah, let's go for this one first. Three boats, three sails. One. Okay. There and there. Okay. Let's turn all of that. Okay. There. One, two. These don't stack. Okay. Three, two chests. Okay. Plenty of those. Okay. Actually, easiest way, just do this. Okay. Now, let's see how big this small ship is in comparison. Okay, it's about the same size, just different in other way. Wait, which one is this? This is the galley. Oh, really? <laughs> I expect they're a little bit bigger. Okay. So with this one, we can row and... Oh, now I see there's... Wait, is that supposed to be... Okay, it's not wind-based or anything like that. It just takes time for the sail to go up and down. The heck? Okay, those must be tropical fish there. But yeah, this, this could be nice for uh, getting across oceans when I don't want to just use the book the entire time. Let's see, does it just take time for it to come down or something? Or is there some other control that wasn't being shown? Uh, uh, no. Okay, up and down lowers it further and less. Okay. We can just turn it completely off with R. Okay. Same amount of infant yeah, same amount of inventory space. Uh let's you, see. Do you want it? Why? Can you put NBCs on it or something? Maybe. Let's see. Okay, this one actually has more max speed, apparently. Only by four. Okay. Oh. Let's go for this one next, then. Okay. So, one of these. There and there. Then three boats. One, two, three. Okay, then just some string, two chests. Okay. Um there was it one or two two okay two chests okay is that all yes okay there we go okay it's basically the same as this one, but with the uh, sail more front-facing. Uh, same uh... speed. Ten shields. I guess you can decorate it. Two cannons. Or two max cannons. Let's see. 
six cannons max, but nothing on shields. Let's see. How many normal shields do I have around here? Uh, I think I put them with tools. Yes. Uh, let's see. How many of these have no buffs or anything? It was enchanted. That one's normal. That one's normal. That one. Okay, only three. Okay. And do I just use those on them? Let's see. Yep. Yep. Okay. But it doesn't have cannons to defend itself with. Okay, that leaves only the cog, which is the simplest and probably the smallest. Okay. There. Okay. Then three boats again. Okay, doesn't look too bad. Let's see. Five crew max, 29 speeds, four cannons. Okay. Hmm. These could be fun to explore the ocean with. Especially oh, if others can get onto as well. Hmm. Yeah, we'll definitely have to try those out. Maybe... Let's see. How much... Dark oak logs do I have? Yep, only two. Or at least here, at least. Uh, how many do I have upstairs? Only 29-ish. Okay. Uh, let's see. Just... Okay, I'm out of leads, so can't really make any more. So... I can't make more of them with string and slime ball. Uh, let's see here and here. Okay, let's try making a dark oak brig and see how that turns out. So yes, yeah, three boats again. There. Okay. Which type of log is used for this one doesn't matter. Okay. Actually, one more than needed. Okay. There. And there. Geralt the Gorilla Slaughterer? Okay. What? There. Six. I have to make three of these. Okay. Um, double check. Yeah, two sails, one lead. So there. And two, three, four. And toss the potato for the moment. Or wait, I can just turn those like that. Okay. Uh, dark, yeah, dark, right, chest still. Uh, put those away. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, and three. Then we can make the dark oak. Wait. Dark oak. Wait. Oh. It was spruce. Okay. I grabbed the wrong one. Uh, let's see. Oh dear. Wait. Do I not? Oh, I don't have. I don't have dark oak set up there, do I? 
if dark oak is two by two wides. Luckily, there should be dark oak here. Plenty of it. So let's deal with this one. Make this one look like an ape. There. Yep, freaking necromancer. There we go. Okay, just quickly stuff away anything we aren't actively using. Really, a wooden sword, Geralt spell castings, wooden sword, short sword of distant battles. Really, a short sword with extra range. Now, that's a bit of a contradiction. And here for the the ruler, fear me if you dare. Was a contradiction. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. That should be enough. And yeah, I should plant a dark oak upstairs. We'll do that later. For now... Yep. Uh, yeah, for now, we'll have to put those away somewhere. Uh, this is getting cooled down now. Now, if people wonder why I'm less targeted today... Three days in a row I've been waking up like one hour too early. There we go. These are the dark oaks. So I've basically been like... Uh, on about five hours sleep in three days uh, per day. Yeah, in only... <laughs> that amount in only a few days would have been a lot more worrisome. Yeah. No, the first one, uh, if I go up uh, four in the morning due to bloody seagulls. It's not, it's like not just men. a joke. <laughs> yeah. The, the other seagull is a bit, a bit of a joke, but I do, like, I don't outright hate seagulls. Like, if they're a beach and all that, they, they, they should be on. They kind of nice. But in the city... They, they have a different sound in the city, which is unpleasant. And let's be honest, hearing an orchestra, which is put kindly, of seagulls, four in the morning. Uh, oh, it makes okay, the hearing of rooster stores. merciful. Okay, let's deal with you, fancy pants. Okay. Uh, let's see. Cannons. Uh, cannonballs even come along. Let's see. Okay, that's a bit much to put blocks of iron. Uh, let's see. That would be 16 blocks of iron for this. And again, I can get so much more from all of the iron I have already. So, or half slash can make. Uh, let's see. Each of these that I throw at him here hmm, this comes out as almost an entire stack of dust. So let's throw some of that in there. Put you away. I maybe should give them... Uh, I, yeah, maybe I should poke them with one of the uh, deny scrolls. These ones, these will stop them from picking these up. Actually, let me let me just do this with this one that I've pre-made already, or the this one here, snowflake. Let's see. That should stop them from picking up the uh, a bunch of stuff. No blocks of this yet so let's put that on like that reapply that and now they should ignore it
All oh, right. <laughs> they 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 ignore it when it gets uh, when I throw down these. It will not ignore the dust at the moment. Okay. I just might have to set something up that will redirect the uh, dust towards these. Now, so maybe move this backwards, more towards the wall. Also, I should put Ready? these in the blast furnace. There. But, yeah, 33 blocks of that. There's going to just be an utterly massive amount of dust. I'll probably have to put a barrel on top of that for it to keep up. There already is a barrel on top. <laughs> I'm just being blind. Okay. But, yeah, I think you can see why these crushers are very valuable. Oh, well, yeah. I think I can do. I can see. Of course, it is, it, is a bit it is rather pricey to get them. It's like a block of diamond, block of emerald, and block of ismium, which we had some trouble finding, but turned out to be a lot easier to find than I originally thought. And a gas tier. Wait, why are you coming running for that? Is there dust somewhere in these? Okay. It, yeah, just so much freaking dust, huh? And the Wixie gets to work on turning it into blocks. Okay, what, where are you going with that? It must be one of these because it was just holding it and not anymore after a second. I'm not seeing where it's getting put then. Hmm. Okay, either way, that's all of that. Shove that all in there. Surprise, fools! Yep. <laughs> Hello? Lost my frog. <laughs> That's the name. Uh, thank you for the raid. Uh, ahoy, raiders. I'm Captain Hillian. Over here, we have my co-host, Drakir. And, uh, yeah, how are you doing? And uh, How are you all doing? And what are we up to? Uh, let me give you a quick shout-out. Uh, let's see. Lost my frog. Let's copy that over before I fat finger this. Let's see. Slash so the turn. Uh, let's see. Stardew Valley. Okay. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying that. Uh, are you playing that normal or modded? Yeah, I've got. I played that game for quite a time. I even got to the third year, but at some point, I just yeah, it just became more of a chore than uh, anything else, really. So yeah, <laughs> how are you enjoying the game? And hello there, Nebula Box. <laughs> Again, hope you're all doing. A, hope you're all doing okay. And yeah, welcome to modded Minecraft, or sp more specifically, the uh, custom-made Hippity Hoppity pack. Uh, I'm currently on the server with uh, one other person who is just on their own somewhere. And yeah, my, I focus mostly on the magic mods with this game, yeah, with this uh, server, as well as you can see by all of the uh, Ars Nouveau stuff down below I, I currently have flight because of this here so i'm not cheating tablet of flight ritual as long as that's fueled that will grant flight to anyone nearby and let's just say i have plenty of fuel <laughs> more than plenty of fuel uh, wait is there okay for a second i thought there was a source jar missing but yeah i've got quite a lot set up i've got all of the occultism rituals set up here uh, I've got one of each of the crushers, mostly for decoration. And let's see. Let's not brush along the floor, ceiling. And yeah, I'm in a big ass tower of my own making with this. Okay, for a <laughs> second I thought it was a fire, but no, that's the sun. 
Uh, well, yeah. the sun is burning. Hmm. Let me give a quick tour. Up top here, we have a roly sprig farm, which will harvest all of these plants without damaging them. And it gets put into all of these. At the moment, only this one is linked to uh, inventory below. These other two are more for buffers at the moment. And, well, there's more... How did the white wool get in here? Okay. I've got more bamboo than I'll probably ever need. Um, one level down, we have the Drake Me Farm, which is similar to the... Well, in general, works similar. Uh, it'll harvest stuff from the animals without actually harming them. Beyond psycholo psycho psych yeah, psychologically. And it gets put into these. And... Yeah, I've, I've already had to move out a hell of a lot of meat because this server or this mod pack uses the uh, origin mods, which means that uh, with the origin that I've picked, which is avian, very easy to tell from the model, it's, which is Falco, uh, which means that I can't eat uh, meat. And let me just find a bit. So yeah, inedible vegetarian. Okay, then one level lower. This was all supposed to be an amethyst shard farm, but yeah, clearly, even though I made eight of these little idiots, they are just not doing their work beyond these first four for some reason. Even though I know that uh, amethyst golems can work in a wider area, they just don't want to, apparently. And uh, yeah, they'll grow these clusters, harvest... Uh, <clears throat> harvest uh, amethyst shards off of them, put them in this box, which then down here leads to this imbuement chamber, which will turn those <clears throat> will those turn those amethyst shards into source gems, and then well the wixie here will turn those gems into blocks, and yeah the starbound called this little squirrel will put them back in here, which is linked to the inventory below. So that I can remotely access them. Animal farm, floor farm, and the gem farm. And yeah, that's linked to those up there because of these three. They're currently, well, bumping against the ceiling because they're trying to get to the chests. But they don't actually need contact with it to do that. And let's see... I think I may have to quit the stream soon for dinner, but we'll have to see about that. Uh, now I've gotten distracted from what we were... Uh, right. We were smelting all of this dust. So that we can make cannons for... Uh, it's, that is still running? Yes. Okay, for a second I thought it might have run out. Oh yeah, we're just making a bunch of cannons for... Well, this one here. Which is a... <laughs> it's a... It's a boat from the small ship's yes. <clears throat> mods. Okay. There we go. Full sails. And yeah, I can fly around either with the the flight ritual. Let's not ram another ship. <laughs> okay, it takes longer for the sails to go up and down with this one, which makes sense, of course. It's a heavier ship. Turning is also heavier. Okay, all sails away. Yeah, beyond the the ritual, which is still good for a few seconds, I also have this here. Uh, berries? Just send me up in the air. Blueberries? Ah, right. And yeah, just before you all raided, I was busy well, decorating my tower a bit with these uh, rings of archwoods. And all right. Need to plant this up here so that the whirly sprig will harvest more of it. Oop. Okay, it won't attach to the it won't attach to the leaves, but it will attach to the yeah, to the wood. Okay. It works fine. Alright. And Oh, Let's see, looks like our radar isn't too chatty. No problem with that, of course. Yeah, yeah. Apparently they've tried to fight something again, seeing as that Redbeard has been throwing around magic firebolts again. 
At least this time he didn't get any of the others killed. And this one is still around as well. <laughs> I'm a bit curious if it can get hurt from running its face into open flames above. Well, okay. it, there's one way to find out. You could try and hit it. I'd rather not make it angry. It's... I don't think it's hostile, unless uh, you're wearing a pumpkin. <clears throat> yeah, it'll probably still ang get angered if I punch it anyways. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I I'm not the only person playing on this server. So let me head through here. And uh, yeah, each of these portals leads to another player's, well, and the nether and the stronghold once I find it, or the correct one, actually. <clears throat> Over here, we have Sensei's place, who is uh, working on mostly mechanical mods. And it looks like he got himself a mount from Pika and Tatum. So yeah, we're all doing our own little things. Uh, looks like this one has stopped. Did it get jammed or... Okay, pretty sure it's not supposed to look like that. So, I'll just leave it alone. Okay. Portal back. Then we have Vanna, who hasn't spent too much time yet, but they are basically going to be our weaponsmith um, and such. Uh, hmm? Cobweb already? Yeah. Also a little sugar glider. And there. And then we have Tatum and Pika who are living together with this. And they're basically the food and animal masters. Uh, let me just show. Yep. Get smacked in the face with the door. Uh, yeah, they're mostly about cooking and such. Also... I put this one here. No, I did not rename this one. <laughs> yep, hello. Brewmaster experts. <laughs> Walter. Okay, that's a that's a bit of an in-joke. Okay, <laughs> looks like they got the uh, sensei hey, to build them hey. one of these. <laughs> it you use really sunny igno if you oh, are pirate though. True. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing this will call it back. Yep. Okay, looks like it just goes too fast for me and the innate slow falling. <laughs> Gingerbread, okay. Uh, but yeah. They've just, they're just growing a bunch of foods, both here and on the ground. And yeah, if we want, like... If we want any animals uh, from outside of the base game, so from any mods, uh, <clears throat> uh, then, yeah, you have to ask Tatum for help with that. Also, let's not use that. Okay. And, yeah, then we have Shaskor, who is basically going to be the alchemist of the bunch, as in he's mostly focused on potions and such. Uh, Where the heck are they? Oh, they're right there. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. And let's see. Yeah, last but not least, <clears throat> we have the guild house over here with uh, Mike Salot. Basically, they're, they're adventuring typically and just stuffing their, their getting any good loot putting it in their shop here. And then we can use these guild tokens, which I have uh, a good amount of still. Uh, where are they? Sorts. Um, they are 25 of them. You get those for doing quests and such and certain achievements or advancements in the game. And yeah, let's head back here. <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, I don't have too many big goals at the moment, beyond just fancying up my tower some. I'm mostly checking these out because it would be fun to just bring the bunch along on a sea trip. So, well, go exploring. 
because things are a bit spread out here. Uh, let's see, Ocean Monument there. Those spots are for Wilden Dens. They had built portals too, but I accidentally broke them. So I need to fix those. And let's see, how, is, how did the Wixie do with these? Four more. Okay, uh, what was it with these cannons? Two logs and string. Uh, there. One, two, three, four. Four. And there. Okay, these don't stack. Okay. Uh, yeah, over here, this is basically my inventory at the moment, or my storage. I've got these two here. They'll take from these and just put whatever matches with anything in these. That's what these Mimic Scrolls are for. Basically, that allows them to only put in there what is already uh, in there. So if I take these Wither Skeleton Skulls and put one in here, and one of them should go running soon enough. Though they can be pretty lazy. Come on. Yep. Lazy bastard. Okay, I, I think it might be because I'm overstressing them a bit with, well, store at 50 locations. I might have to split that between them. And, yeah. I got these shoots. I just put a backpack on these, empty them out in here, and just let the star bunkles do it. Of course, I do need to fill them. I do need to empty them out at times for stuff that just isn't in anything yet. Hmm. Also, fun little facts: uh, star bunkles can reach four blocks high, so three is the best if you don't give them like a pathway to walk around. I might need to just how far down they can reach, perhaps. But for now, let's go put those cannons on the ship. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Oh, more berries. There and there. Okay. Uh, let's see. I can hang them there and there. And uh, let's see. Uh, one of the big things about Ars Nouveau are the glyphs that you can make, yeah, that you can turn into spells. You need a form. You can put an augment on there if you have them or want them. These are typically just hitting a bigger area, strengthening the effects, or other things like speeding up the projectile, <clears throat> all sorts of things. And yeah, you can use those to just make spells for cutting down trees or to just blast foes with. Uh, fire. Let's see. Giant salamander. I'll leave that alone. Uh, let's see. Or you could... Let's see. Where is that one? Okay, I think I must have removed it. The one that just summons a bunch of skeletons. Okay. Wield walkers. Just trees given life. I've told them to defend the spot, and they will do that from any hostile mobs. And yeah, there's just, just a lot to these magic mods. Um, let's see, how's this going? Okay, one more. Yep, here it comes. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah, th this Wixie here will make any of the things that are put around it and just auto crafts it for a bit of mana or source and yep yeah, the star bunkle is set to just pick things up here put them in there and let's see that's enough for two more cannons so one two not that here and there okay Come on. 
there and there. Okay, this thing is now fully equipped. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I wonder, the, are the crew things players or actual NPCs you add to it? Uh, easy way to figure out that, I'd say. Just park this thing. And we can check with the easy villagers mob. Or mod, the Not there. Let's see, cleric, cleric, villager. Okay. Let's see, if we put you here, is that going to do anything? Yep, not like that. Hmm. I might need to look into the, uh, this mod a bit. I'm presuming it'll be mostly players, or maybe a special. Maybe. Oh, okay. Now he's on board. Okay. Hmm. Is that mostly for just transporting things, perhaps? Oh, well. Um, let's see. What? There we go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think the crew is mostly just for transporting things like animals, maybe. Oh, well. Still, it gives that villager something to do, I guess. Well, they hmm. were positioned by the cannon, so it they may actually fire the cannons. Maybe. How do you make one of these? Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot cheaper. Gunpowder and nuggets. Uh, there. Then some nuggets from here. Okay, there's already some. Okay. Let's see then. What will be the oh, safe? Starbound, cluttered. Okay. Yeah, cannonball. I'm going to guess that these need to be put into its inventory before they can be used. So E. Put that in there. And let's see. How do but you fire that? It has page. It has yep. inventory page. I pointed that out earlier. Uh, okay, I missed that then. Are you a bit sleepy? Or well, tired, more like. Hmm. Unless I was able to take a morning walk. You have a spin on that. Uh, let's see. Controls, category, small ships. Okay, it only says toggle sail. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Cannon? Maybe. Uh, nope. Hmm. Okay, I'll okay. have to look into this, this then. Maybe... Actually, he is. Yeah, he is standing at it now. Maybe they're supposed to auto fire on enemies in their sight or something. Let's or see. when you tell them. Yeah, there's no button to tell them to. So I'm presuming it's auto fire. Just need to find something for him to fire at then, like that yeah, spider. Yeah, just remember in what uh, direction they are uh, yes. on the cat. <laughs> okay, why are you looking? Uh, wait. Okay, he's not at the cannon. He, it just looked like that he was. Or oh, did he? Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll have to look into this more. Hmm. 
to. It looked for a moment like he was uh, prepped at the cannon or something. Hmm. Okay, let's park this thing with the others again. And I think I'll have to call it there then. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, for a moment I thought I saw that zombie wearing a diamond helmet, but no, there was just the shirt of the one behind it. <laughs> it. Okay, apparently we can't run over the giant salamander. Uh, Too powerful. Uh, yeah. We'll have to see what we do for next time then. Let's get you off. Off the ship, it is. There. And yeah, that's a little arena for fighting a Fritz. Okay, I thought I heard something at the door, but no. And uh, yeah. Hopefully, next time we'll have a bit more action y stuff to show. Maybe it'll be time for the Nether. Uh, for them, not the Nether, the Ender Dragon. There's probably like a mod that adds drag or specific dragons uh, to the uh, nether or something. Hmm. But yeah, for now, uh, let's go look for someone to raid before we end the stream. And of course, some asshole has to uh, honk the horn loudly outside. Not sure if that was audible. Uh, that was Sorry. audible. Okay, let's change the window to Twitch. Uh, let's see. There's quite a bit of people online. We have Sensei Tadpole, who is currently playing Minecraft Dungeons. Little Crazy Jess is playing No Rest for the Wicked. Zoe is playing Animal Well. I've heard good about that game. Chubb is the Moon Seal with Dead by Daylight. I'm nice with Final Fantasy XIV. Okay. And you were going to say something? I see, I had heard mentions of Animal Well, but I haven't looked into it. Okay. Uh, who would you say to raid then, or shall I take a pick? Hmm. I say little yes this time, since we didn't raid them last time. Okay. Uh, let me check that the browser is muted. It is. Okay. Then we head over to their place, copy the name. Head back to our channel and yeah, slash raid and paste. But before we started, of course, thank you everyone who's been, yeah, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Nebula Box. Thank you, Lost My Frog for the raid. <laughs> uh, hope you're doing. I hope you're. Yeah, Ugh. I hope they went off to go take care of themselves because the well, streaming can be a bit taxing. Especially when you need to go to the bathroom or go get a drink. Uh, yeah, beyond that, of course, thank you, Grandmaster Player. Thank you, Tatum and Marco. And thank you, as always, Rick here. You're welcome as always, my friend. And be safe, everyone. And yeah. Uh, tomorrow, maybe we can continue with Borderlands. With some luck, we might even be able to finish off the last DLC. Uh, but at the very least, we will continue with uh, the Battle for Middle Earth's evil campaign on Tuesday and uh, on Tuesday and Thursday. I almost thought I said it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that'll be for then. So yeah, for now, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for undead seagulls. <laughs>